All right. Um, like any uh, organization of this type, our, our best asset is really our membership. And, and one of the things we've tried to do is um, leverage um, you know, our individual relationships with uh, area businesses, organizations, into a lot of programming um, and partner up with other organizations in the area. Um, some of the things that we've done, and, and um, this is going into its second year, is, is teed up. Um, and this is a charity event uh, which takes place at the Travelers Championship um, on Thursday after play. Um, it gives everybody an opportunity to raise money for the First Tee Connecticut. Um, it also allows uh, people who would never really get the chance to play on the course to actually play in a, a three-hole mini tournament. Um, we've been very successful at that, and we're looking forward to that again. Um, we've uh, participated in events with Big Brothers and Sisters. Um, we've also uh, teamed up with the Greater Hartford JCs to um, put on tons of toys. Um, they've really helped us out a lot with that. Um, and we've tried to provide volunteer opportunities um, you know, through our relationships with, with other organizations. Um, some of the, the organizations we've worked with, obviously Travelers has been a, a huge supporter of our effort, as well as a number of other companies in the area. Um, the uh, Hartford pa Foundation for Public Giving. Um, is there anything else? Oh, we have tons of partners. Uh, those are, those those are, are some good examples. examples. <laughs> All right. um, so. Great. As far as our social networking opportunities, we also hold a monthly um, happy hour type event where people can just get together socially. It's held the first Wednesday of every month at some Hartford location. Uh, we generally draw between 150 and 200 young professionals at that event. Uh, we have a Taste of the Suburbs event, which we actually bring out into the suburbs around Hartford, where it's another similar happy hour type feel. Um, usually with some sort of activity, we've done cake decorating and salsa dancing lessons and adds another aspect, uh, as almost as an icebreaker. Um, our spring fling is coming up in just three weeks. Um, it is basically an annual celebration of Hype. This year it's going to be held at the Wadsworth Athenaeum, a gem in Hartford if you haven't been there yet. Um, and Hype Cup is a great series that just started, just wrapped up actually for its first year. Um, it's a seven month program where teams actually send members once a month to compete in different activities like mini golf, volleyball, that kind of stuff. Um, and they earn points toward our cup. You'll see it out on our, uh, it's, it's on there, but it's also out on the table. Um, it's a great, great experience. People from different companies come together. Companies sponsor their own teams for internal collaboration. Uh, it's a fantastic event, and it's, uh, it's I think, going to become unmanageable because so many people want to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, um, I, and, I, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I do believe this came from, a lot of these ideas came from some of the surveying that yes. we did do. Mm -hmm. um, so it, we have tried to um, really pay attention to what people want and, and get everything in place relatively quickly um, when we find out that's what they want. So. Uh, yeah. Um, as far as our future goals, we have a lot of them, so we'll just touch on a few. Okay, um, membership growth. Uh, every year we sort of pick a round number and, and try and get to that next spot. Um, you know, we're hoping to get to 3,000 members um, relatively <laughs> soon. Um, yeah, a, a lot of the things we do are focused on that, um, particularly some of the things we've, we've done in the last year to really try and uh, grow and retain our membership is, is we've started an ambassador program where we designate people at our events um, to go talk to new faces and, and introduce them to some people and, and try and get them involved. Um, if people have a good experience at their first event, they're going to come back and they're going to continue to come back and then they're going to look to get involved on the committee level. So um, that's been very successful and, and we all think that's very important. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also want to increase our entrepreneur support. We want to be able to help young businesses thrive in our area uh, for a number of reasons, as I'm sure you all in the industry will understand and I don't need to kind of go through, but um, we want to create more resources for them. We want to have a black book of this is who you talk to if you need help in this area, that kind of thing. Um, so that's definitely one of our efforts for the next couple of years. All right. Um, and as I'm sure a lot of uh, the organizations in this room are, are focused on increasing um, community involvement, um, we're no different. We, we really look for different opportunities every year, um, how we can get out in front of the community um, and, and really either raise money or, or lend support to something when we can. Um, you know, again, our, our biggest asset is our membership. We have, um, we have good manpower, so if we get behind something, we can, we can provide pretty good support. As I mentioned earlier, we will be launching our own social media site so our members can connect outside of events. They've been telling us that events are great, but how do I follow up? Sometimes I lose a business card, sometimes I forget why I talk to them. So this will be a forum for them to communicate with each other, not in person. Um, we also are looking to strengthen relationships with alumni associations. Uh, great, 
great opportunity to grow membership within alumni organizations. Um, so many people uh, who turn to their alumni organization are looking for a way to get plugged into the area, uh, particularly people who, who you know, maybe didn't grow up in this area, um, but it, it's something we really hope to focus on. We're also um, trying to develop a new hire orientation program, where whether it be once a quarter or once a month or whatever it is, we offer um, an orientation to Hartford program for any new employees from any of the major companies, where it's an unbiased opinion, it's not necessarily from the, from the company that you're working for, but we introduce you to Hype and, and other opportunities that are available for you here as a new hire. So those are some of our future goals. Um, if anybody has any questions, we will be around later. Uh, thank you again to the Harvard Springfield Economic Partnership for bringing this event together. It's great to kind of see what everybody else is doing, and we really appreciate the opportunity.